I'm Cupid, and um, I'm starting this. I wanted to do a podcast originally, but unfortunately, I don't have any money, so this is just going to have to work. Um, Before we get started, I just want to say that all the images that you see are from Google. Um, I have no idea who the authors are, photographers, whatever. Um, If the yeah, I just I just got them off of Google. I Googled uh, committed relationships, not committed relationships. I just Googled some words into the search bar, and I came up with some images because this is technically supposed to be a podcast. So that being said, I also want to add that this content slash podcast slash, I guess, vlog slash voice blog slash podcast, YouTube podcast, I don't know. Anyways, this thing is based off of my blog, um, cupidsguidance.wordpress.com um, is my blog. I started it not too long ago. I'm, I'm, uh, very into relationships and stuff. Anyways, um, I've been told I have great advice and whatnot, so yes, um, also if you have any specific questions, concerns, you just need my advice because you're dealing with a personal issue, with a personal relationship, whatever, um, feel free to, um, email me at cupidsguidance at gmail.com and I will definitely get back to you when I can. Um, anyway, so this, um, is going to be all about the love word. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started. By the way, I'm I'm pretty much reading this off my blog, um, the L word. So basically, these podcasts are going to be read off of the blog. Uh, so I guess it's kind of like an audio book, audio 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 blog. Anyways, um, so if it, if it seems a little scripted, it's because I'm I'm reading it right off my screen from my blog. So yes. Anyways, let's get started. Ah, the L word. We've all been there. That moment when you're looking at your significant other and you realize right then and there that you love them. You want nothing more uh, more than to express your feelings and let the potential love fire burn bright. But you hold your tongue because you don't know whether it's the right time to say, I love you. And many of us have made the mistake of going right ahead and blurting it out. I have to admit, I've been there, done that, I've made that mistake, and I tell you, don't do it. Ladies, saying I love you in a romantic relationship first is a big no-no. Why? Well, in this video, I'll be going over why it's not good and the damage it could do to your relationship. Alright, so the big question, why not? Why not say the L word immediately? Here's the secret. Men are scared of the L word. It's like a repellent, no joke. Well, in some cases, most cases. But Cupid, my boyfriend and I say we love each other all the time and we have no problems. I know, I know. Let me explain. When you first find out that you love your significant other, don't tell him. You can maybe drop in a in little hints here and there. They probably won't pick up on your hints anyway, so it's probably best that you don't drop hints for their sake, for, you know, because they're brains. Anyways, um, I'm not calling men stupid, by the way. They are very intelligent. In fact, my husband is extremely intelligent. I'm not even joking. You know. Okay, anyways, back to the point. Um, let him be the first one to say it, because if you blurt it out and you tell him that you love him first, it'll freak him out. But he can also use it to his advantage. He can also, um, you know, get like that 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 mischievous smile on his face, kind of like the Grinch in the Grinch Who Sold Christmas movie. Um, he can totally take advantage of you if you tell him that you love him first, because he can manipulate you into that relationship, and he can, I guess, have his way with you um, by telling you that he loves you. So. Yeah, but 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 average and um, on average, it usually just freaks him out. Um, he's probably not ready for it if you just blurt out to him out of nowhere that you love him. 
Um, men are very straightforward and will tell you what's on their mind and how they feel, at least the honest ones. It rarely ends good when the L-bomb is used too early in the relationship. Be patient, and he will tell you that he loves you eventually, but do not say it first. Let him be the first one to say it, because then you know that he is ready to commit to himself to your relationship and you, and he's ready to take that next step towards feeding the fire and making your relationship more serious. So, yeah, I'm not trying to be old-fashioned here. This is fact. I think, maybe. Anyways, it just, it makes sense. Alright, so now I'm going to tell you my experience. I've had experience in this. Um, So yes, so here's my, my experience. In almost every relationship that I've ever been in, that I've said I love you first, it has tragically ended almost immediately after I said it. And it was painful to go through because I was committing myself to this person that I loved. But they couldn't return the same feelings. It sucked. It really did. But when I stopped being the first one to say it, my relationships went a lot smoother. Sure, there were breakups, but that's because there would be cheating on their end. I don't cheat. Um, There was a loss of interest. We were changing as people. Um, Our values were different. Life goes on, etc., etc. We discovered that We just weren't made for each other, so, you know, there were breakups. Now, I will admit there has only been one relationship that has worked out after I said I love you way too soon. It was with my husband when we were first dating. Five days into our relationship, six days after I met him, I know, freaking out, um, I knew I wanted to marry him one day. So I wrote him a letter telling him I loved him. I planned on giving it to him on our one-year mark, but I was extremely impatient, and I gave it to him later that day, actually that evening, that night, um, after I wrote the letter. Sure, he was a little freaked out, but he also understood that I was just very excited to have met someone whom I got along very well with, And whom I had a lot in common with. Like, I'm not even joking. We had a lot in common. It was like I found a male version of myself. Which sounds really weird now because I wanted to marry him. Anyways. Or I knew that I would want to marry him one day. Anyway. Alright. Back on the subject. So, understanding that fact. He didn't leave me. He probably would have if we had nothing in common. In fact, he even told me once that if we had had nothing in common he would have dumped me right there but I got lucky um he actually kept the letter and he reads it sometimes and it really takes me off because (laughs) it's embarrassing for me but he thinks it's super cute so he keeps it and he reads it sometimes um but don't do that don't don't do what I did it's a it's a bad idea I didn't follow my own rule and I could have lost him that night. Um, it's very rare that a guy will stay with you after pulling a stunt like that and telling him that you love him six days after you get to know him. So don't do it. All right, so my advice to you is to be patient. Don't pull a stunt like I did and tell the guy you love him after just five days of dating him, six days of knowing him. Um, it's stupid. And it's guaranteed to end in heartbreak. I just, I lucked out. Honestly, I did. (laughs) Like, even my husband will tell you that. Um, If your significant other loves you, he will make sure you know he does. Now, if you've been together for a long time, I personally believe in short dating, short engagements, and a long marriage. So, a long time to me is six months. So, Whether that's six months or one to two years and he still hasn't said he loves you and it's bothering you, then it's time to sit down and have a talk with him. Remember, guys are very straightforward and they need things spelled out for them. So that's just, that's a fact. Every guy knows that. Every, yeah, everyone knows that. So just sit down with him and share your concerns. Ask him where you are in in your relationship. Ask him what he sees for your future. Um, You know, ask him where, you know, basically exactly where you are at in your relationship with him. And then, um, 
and then express your concerns and that you think he may not feel the same way about you that you feel about him. If he if his answers are like I really, really like you. I adore you. You are the most amazing person I know. And I see us moving in together someday and maybe starting a family together or something to that effect. And you're obviously a priority in his life. Go ahead and tell him you love him. Um, sometimes guys do not tell the girls first that they love them because they are s- scared. They are, you know, just guys are afraid of rejection just as much as we are we ladies are afraid of rejection so sometimes it comes to the point where you as a lady needs to say it first but I would wait a while until you know until a point to where you're not sure exactly where your relationship is going all right um men show their love more than they say it that is a true fact but that's for another post slash um blog slash video slash whatever um so yeah but if he says but if he says something like oh well you're cool I like you I see myself going to school and becoming a doctor or whatever and just dating for a while or something to that effect share your concerns about your emotions and how he's feeling Um, about you and your relationship and such and like do some digging you know like really really try and understand exactly what he wants out of your relationship and what he wants out of you and whatnot and then at at that point if he still doesn't show interest um, or you're not an obvious priority in his life then dump him I don't mean to be harsh but dump him because you won't get that ring or commitment or whatever you're after until he's completely ready to take that step, which will probably take a long while. Because men will not commit unless they feel like they're, they are where they're supposed to be in life. That is just fact. They don't commit until they feel comfortable where they're at in life. Um, totally true. Even with my husband, he told me, you know, the only reason why I'm dating you or whatever is because I feel comfortable with where I'm at in life. Like, that's, he, he actually told me that word for word, <laughs> which was kind of really cool, actually, to hear. Um, because I thought that was mumbo-jumbo, but it turns out it's not. All right, so, in conclusion, love is a beautiful, wonderful thing. It should be experienced and cherished by all. It's a precious gift, but it takes patience, forgiveness, and commitment. But always remember, when it comes to saying the L word for the first time, patience is the key. I hope you guys liked this. Share it like crazy, and um, I'll probably be posting my second video for my other blog. um, How to tell if he's committed that's an interesting one I've actually wanted to do that one so um yeah keep an eye out for that uh with that I'm out bye